This video is just a quick preview of one of over 200 step-by-step -step percussion lessons included in our Conga Chops membership. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe and head over to congachops.com to start your free seven-day trial and check out everything we've got on the site. Now I'd like us to spend some time talking about the concept behind calls and responses as they pertain to playing our phrases. This term can be applied broadly to many different instruments, genres, etc. But basically, the idea is that we'll play a particular musical figure as a call and respond with another musical figure that we refer to as a response. For our purposes, the response can be something short like a couple of notes, or something more elaborate if we're talking about playing unison breaks in the percussion section, for example. In this lesson, we'll just work on a couple simple responses that we can use to embellish and respond to some of the phrases we already know. So to start off, let's work on our first response as counterpoint to the accents of our two-bar lock. We'll start with our lock and 2-3 clave and play this example as a four-bar phrase. We can think of the last two notes in bar three as the call, and our response will be two low drum open tones on the end of one and beat two of the following bar. So let's work on playing this response in the last bar of the phrase, which coincides with the three side of the clave. One, two, three, four. Let's work on that one more time just a bit faster and focus on how the figure fits in on the three side of the clave. One, two, one, two, three, four. Just as with the approaches we learned earlier, this response can also be played on the two side of the clave. So let's continue to work on our lock in 2-3 clave as a four bar phrase. This time, we'll think of the notes in the second bar, the and of three and beat four as the call and play our response in the third bar. One, two, three, four. It's important to note that some players may add a ghost note or muffled finger stroke on the eighth note just before the response to help the sticking flow better. It's really a matter of personal preference, so I'll leave that up to you to decide. Let's work on that just a bit faster as we focus on how the figure fits in on the two side of the clave. One, two, one, two, three, four. 